Ho, 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 world! I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and other stuff the world can use. The Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix. GoToAssist includes three essential support tools in one simple platform. You can easily log incidents and track resolutions from the GoToAssist service desk, identify issues to fix with GoToAssist monitoring, and provide live or unattended support from anywhere with GoToAssist remote support. For a free 30-day trial, visit GoToAssist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PERILLA. Why'd you take off with the Santa hat? Fine, is that better? U2.0. Where are we headed as the human race? We shouldn't be satisfied with letting our tech companies fill our lives with awesome toys. We should build awesome lives for those awesome toys to occupy. And I think that's a good thing to say, and especially to remember when we kind of want to get the latest and greatest hardware to, you know, just have it. Is it really making our lives better? And what's the point of technology if it doesn't improve your life? So what's the difference between a Bluetooth and a wireless USB receiver? I'm glad you didn't ask. Unlike proprietary wireless receivers, Bluetooth doesn't require you to carry around an extra object along with your mouse and or keyboard. With Bluetooth, it just plugs in and works. Why you never talk about induction charging, boy? Sorry, I'll get right on that. Especially with this, the induction charging bonsai tree. It uses solar power. This is the Electri Plus, and it's just $199 on Kickstarter if it gets kicked. I mean, if you kick it, enough people kick it so that you can kick it with the bonsai solar charger tree. WTF jeans? No, no WTF. That's the name of the brand that you can go through to get jeans that are designed with you in mind. If you're a geek and you have a lot of gadgets, whether you carry around USB devices or Apple products, well, it should accommodate more than just that. Only 2,048 pairs of this particular style are being made, by the way. (laughs) Get it? 2048? It's... Do you not get why that's a funny number? But the price tag, $159. Still, what price would you pay to, you know, prove that you're a geek by wearing jeans built for geeks? Hey, Chris, what's your favorite article that was posted to LockerGnome.com today? Oh, that would have to be the best Star Wars computer accessories article. Uh, Duh! There are new flash drives coming down the pike. Can't wait to get the Vader one. Aw, what's wrong? You don't like Darth Vader? Why you gotta be a Vader hater? That's not the funny. All right, all right, what else do we have? The Star Wars USB lightsaber glow lamp, a Star Wars The Old Republic gaming headset by Razer, the Star Wars Yoda USB desk protector, and okay, I'm not going to spoil the rest of the list. You're just going to have to look yourself. And I know there are plenty of Star Wars fans out there in our audience because you guys seem to love my Chewbacca hoodie. In today's vlog, I wore it out in public, and I actually got a few compliments on it. Diana says it's a great way to meet women. So long as those women are... Harry and tall and from Kashyyyk. Google reactivates speak to tweet for Syrian internet cutoff. When are these world governments going to learn that you just can't cut us off from the internet? It's it's not gonna happen, sorry. Judge says no fundamental right to use Facebook, tosses antitrust case. Seriously, using Facebook is a right? I understand access to the internet being a right, a human right, really, because it's access to the world, but Facebook being a right? You know what's not right? Is Facebook making some of the decisions that it's been making. Did you guys even see half the things I shared with you on Facebook today? Go ahead. Oh, wait. Check out the profile page. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Apple begins selling unlocked iPhone 5 in the U.S. starting from $649. Well, I guess it's better than starting at $749. It's a good smartphone. It's a good camera. It's a good experience. But $649 for an unlocked version? not so sure about that. I mean, it seems that other devices that aren't made by Apple are, well, good enough. Still, I don't think Apple's going to change its business model. They're all about selling hardware at a premium price, and people keep paying. No doubt, I do love my Apple products, and not because they're expensive, but because they're premium, and the entire experience has been good for me. Of course, I have issues here and there. Who doesn't? How much is too much for you and a new gadget. I like a getting everything for free. Oh, all you Italians are cheap wads. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to myself again. Google acquires e-commerce startup and an Amazon locker competitor, Bufferbox. Bufferbox has been specializing in providing users with temporary lockers in which they might receive delivery of packages from online e-commerce retailers. Facebook launches PhotoSync automatic picture uploading feature for Android and iOS. I didn't like that feature in Google+. Plus or even in Dropbox with its, you know, ability to do that. I mean, maybe backing up to a private cloud is is a value, uh, but pushing it out to the public web, 
I, I don't think so. I have to take a series of like 15 photos just to get one that I really like. Why don't you ever talk about Android? I did. I, I said that Facebook updated their Android and iOS app. I heard that, but why don't you ever talk about Android? I just... I... Why don't you ever talk about Facebook? Really? Tour operator charged for child porn transmitted over his servers. Dude, if I were you and you were a tour operator, I would stop being a tour operator. Comscore reports that Samsung has increased lead as top U.S. mobile device maker. Apple passes LG for second place. Is that devices purchased or devices shipped? Microsoft said to plan next Xbox console for 2013 holiday season. Eh, maybe it'll be a good time to upgrade all my Xbox 360s. Would anybody buy my Xbox 360s at that point? Apple's iPad mini 4th gen iPad arrives in China December 7th. iPhone 5 follows December 14th. That's big news. You know how many people are in China right now? Billions and billions. That's a lot. Why you gotta make fun of the Chinese? How on earth am I making fun of them? I'm just saying there's a lot of them over there. You're so biased. Yeah, I'm biased with facts. Is it kind of weird to have a virtual peanut gallery that's really me? Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. You can use the coupon code 599CHRIS when you check out to get three domains for $5.99. The link is in this video's description. Excitotoxin writes, postcards? Do they really belong in the 21st century? abso friggin lootly I love getting these things from you guys, and it started with the vlog. These are all the postcards that I haven't yet shared in vlogs. I've got a backlog of postcards. It just lets me know that so many of you out there enjoy the things that we do, and sometimes having something physical, like even a photo, is kind of fun. I think Diana likes this photo a little more than I do. Even if you don't send us a postcard, we do appreciate your attention, and especially when you can like and share these videos with others so that they know what you like, if you like what we're doing for you. And if you don't like what we're doing for you, what do we got to do to make it better? Just let us know, because we are here for you. We'll see you later.